Hello everyone and welcome to BradHenson.com. As I mentioned in the intro to the power supply upgrade series, to power the new current meter I have to add a second channel. My plan is to use a 7.5 volt 1.5 amp transformer, but to do so I need some sort of power module that's going to rectify the AC to DC and provide me some and provide some power regulation to 5 volts. In this video, I want to take a minute to go over what the circuit and board layout for that power module is going to look like. I plan to take a straightforward approach to this power supply module utilizing a full wave bridge rectifier and a classic uh, 7805 power regulator. On the AC side of the full wave bridge rectifier, we have a two port uh, screw post connector and a 0.1 microfarad 250 volt decoupling cap to handle any transient responses. Now on the DC side of the bridge rectifier I plan to use a 2200 microfarad electrolytic capacitor to handle any ripple on our DC output. I also have a couple 0.1 microfarad decoupling caps again to handle any transient voltages. Now to connect the 7805 uh, from the heat sink to the power module uh, we're going to use a three port uh, screw terminal uh, connector. I also have a 470 microfarads electrolytic cap uh, for smoothing DC ripple on the output. You see I've got a couple protection diodes and a fuse on the negative side of the circuit. Now I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people out there that take a look at this video and this circuit and say no you you need to do this or you need to do that you know there are probably a hundred different things that I can do to improve upon this design uh, but like many of you I'm still learning and so I have to base things off of what I've done in the past uh, and so far this approach has done really well for me I feel that it'll be small enough to fit in the space that I need and provide me with enough regulation and enough protection that I won't harm any of the devices that I connect to the power supply. Now don't get me wrong, if you're taking a look at this uh, circuit and you just see some glaring mistakes or something that I really should be looking at to improve upon its design, uh, I'm all for learning from other people. So you know, leave a comment below or send me an email and I'll definitely take a look at it. So now that we have our circuit, uh, let's get our board designed.
Now that we have our board layout in our next video, we'll use the toner transfer method to etch this layout into a piece of copper clad. If you found this video to be helpful, remember to leave a comment below and press the like button. Catch you next time.